As with other midwives and healers of the time, the women in Juana's family probably had a great deal to do with the path she chose. Juana's paternal aunt, Guadalupe Briones de Oliveira, served as a nurse at a mission in Southern California, while at least two other relatives of Juana's were known to be healers or curanderas with impressive credentials. One of her sisters, Agreda, is documented as having baptized a child who had died during childbirth at Mission San Diego in 1822. Taking into account the circumstances of the birth, death, and baptism of the infant, it can be surmised that Agreda probably served as the midwife. Another midwife, both documented and well-known during her time, was Juana's elder sister, Guadalupe. Her abilities were celebrated and she is said to have been called by natives and strangers alike to assist with childbirth. Guadalupe and her husband lived both in the Presidio's quadrangle and at El Polin alongside Juana and the rest of the family. These women could have provided a reserve of knowledge, experience, and assistance which would have been a solid foundation for Juana to learn and hone her craft. It may be hard to imagine today that a woman such as Juana Briones, illiterate and without any formal medical training, could serve as nurse and midwife to the growing community of San Francisco, but that is exactly what she did, and she did so with great success. Her knowledge and skills were highly respected, and it is said that the new community of Yerba Buena, present-day North Beach in San Francisco, was named after her famous herbal mint tea.